What's up guys? I'm here with my 1994 Integra GSR. Just got done putting in new valve springs and retainers. Skunk 2 cams. I am waiting on some OEM parts to finish that job. So in the meantime, I am also replacing the timing belt, the water pump, the tensioner, things of that nature. But I'm also going to replace the oil pan. I have a Mugen baffled oil pan, which I got from Japan. It took five months to get here. And then I have a OEM oil pump, which I am going to replace as well. This one right here. My oil pump did not go out, but this car does have 152,000 miles. And I'm sure it could go over 200,000 miles. But I'm, I'll probably do a track day or so in this car, and I just don't want to risk it with this oil pump being old. Plus, another reason, actually the main reason is, is why I got an oil pump, is because parts seem to go out of, you know, production on this car, like, daily. So, they're, they're just not making parts for this car anymore, so I wanted to get one before they stopped making them. Anyways, let's get to taking off this oil pump, this oil pan. I've already drained the oil. But I can see that this clutch, this flywheel plate right here needs to come off. And in order for this flywheel plate to come off, I'm going to have to take off this block to transmission brace. It also looks like I'm going to have to take off this brace as well. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to take off this engine block to transmission brace as well. So I'm going to take those off. These look to be a 17 millimeter. These are probably look like a 12. Same here, probably a 17 and a 12. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and then uh, take off these couple fasteners right here. So you can see right there that this plate is blocking at least two fasteners, one right there and then one right there. So that's the whole reason why we have to take this off because they're blocking the oil, couple of the oil pan bolts. So anyways, there's a look at some other bolts. It's nice and dirty under here, but yeah, let's get That plate is removed. There was two 12 millimeters and on the bottom and then two 10 millimeters on the top, by the way. So just take note of that. All right, guys, so with that plate removed, now you can see that our 10 millimeter nuts have been exposed. There are both nuts and bolts, as you can see right there on this oil pan. So just be aware of that. And then you can see the flywheel exposed. That is an OEM flywheel, by the way. So yeah, now it is time. I don't even know how many nuts and bolts are on this oil pan, quite a few, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my 10 millimeter and take all these off so we can drop this pan. Here we go. Oh, there we go. It seems to be stuck up there. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's one way to do it. There she is. I do have a brand new gasket for this pickup tube, so we'll be replacing that as well. Alright guys, with the oil pan removed, now I can take off that oil pickup tube, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute, and then we will take off the oil pump, but before we get to that, I want to show you my new oil pump. It is a Honda Genuine, there's the part number right there. Look at this pretty thing. Man, this is nice. Comes with a new 
a seal right here, a front seal. Look how nasty. Look how there's just tons and tons of gunk and grime on that one. That one's just nasty. And then of course I got the uh, oil seal that goes on the back of the oil pump. We'll get to that. And then as I said, an oil pickup tube gasket as well. So we're doing this right guys. OEM parts are, are the good stuff. All right, let's take off that oil pickup tube. All right, to take our off our oil pickup tube, you're going to want to undo these two mil 10 millimeter nuts. And then the ones that support it down here, this one, and then another one on this one. And then we can take this tube off. The reason why we have to take this off is because, well, it's connected to our oil pump and we're replacing the oil pump. There we go, simple as that. Oh boy, there's oil in there. Let me get a towel for that. Okay, here is our oil pickup tube. Kind of wiped it down. Here's that gasket that I'm replacing. Anytime you take this off, definitely want to replace that gasket. So, yeah, it looks relatively clean. There is a, a little screen in there. There's a tiny bit of crud right there. Probably try to pick at that, but yeah, relatively clean. All right, now let's get to taking that oil pump off. All right, guys, so it looks like we have some fasteners here. Here's one, two, three up there, and then that one, one all the way up here, and then this one. All right, guys, so there's a total of four 10 millimeter bolts, and then these two bottom ones are 12, mil, 12 millimeter, so a total of six bolts. Let's see. Let's see how difficult this thing is gonna be getting off. I know I do have to slide it off the crank. Probably have to hit it with a mallet or something, because it is not budging. Ooh, and it is dirty. All right. Yep, I'm gonna have to hit it with the mallet or something. Or hammer. There we go. I just had to hit it with a brass hammer a few times. All right, here we go, guys. I have taken off the OEM original oil pump from 1994 with 152,000 miles on it. There's the old O ring right there. Look at the block. You can see a it's like a brown bead of RTV around there. And that's where the O-ring rests, right in that hole. And you can see there is a bead of RTV. It's probably discolored from age. It's all brown. It's real cool. You can see the bottom of the rods in there, the crank. It's awesome. It's nice and clean down there. No sludge at all. Very nice. All right, now let's take a look at this oil pump. Oh yeah. This is what I hated, man. Look at all that grease. That thing is nasty. Let's take a look on the other side. There you can see the seal. Not really much to it. You can see the O-ring right there. That's one of you're putting on the, the new pump. Awesome.